the cows are restless, and the sheep have mysteriously turned yellow, that must mean it's time for another episode of the Shenanaderp server! That, or aliens have visited us. Either way, I'm your friendly neighborhood Chrono, bringing another strained attempt to bring a smile to your face, and possibly at least teach you something. Yesterday, we showed the outcome of the turtle, a little bit of strip mining, and the hunt for rubber trees. Today, we are actually going to be starting with the workshop. I'm going to build it right here, because I think this is a great place to build it. I'm also going to use this road that I just built and build more houses here, because once I finally get more villagers here, I want to be able to breed them. So, first thing we have to think about is power. And I'm thinking probably the easiest way to do that is put some form of infinite power supply underneath. And then that would probably be a perfect place for a bunch of water mills. So, to make water mills we need a bunch of wood and a generator. And to make generator we need rubber, copper, tin, redstone, refined iron, and cobble. Well, I have all that right here, so let's get started. So, first thing we need is copper wires. Alrighty, that gives us 24, and hey, I got an achievement! Woohoo! Energy low. Hm. Alrighty then. Alrighty, so then we have that. I need some redstone. Tin. No, in case you're curious, I do not have this planned out. I'm just kind of wigging it. I have no idea how many of what I'm going to need. I'm just throwing everything together and improvising. Alrighty, so we also need some cobblestone. Actually, technically we need a furnace, so 16 furni should be enough. And we need some refined iron, some machine blocks. Ah, oh, crap, I grabbed the wrong thing. I grabbed iron instead of refined iron. Whoops. Mm. Well, let's try this again. Okay, now we have machine block. So, machine block, fern eye, RE battery. We get four generators, and another achievement, suitable power. That's uh, tolerable power. Let's put those off to the side so I don't mix them up again. And you know what? We need wood. Mm. I totally forgot about the wood. Alright, so I have four generators. That means I need a bunch of sticks. How do we make these things again? All right. Up, down, left, right, wood planks, and in the corners, sticks. Okay, so. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yay! We got eight water mills. Okay, now, water mills are insanely, insanely low power. So low power that copper wire just isn't going to cut it. We're going to need tin. Which is the ultra low current cable. Which I think supports up to 8 EU per tick. So that's okay. I think the water mill can output a max of like 6. So it's not going to be a problem. 
And then from here, we need a bat box. Because we have to... Because I have no idea how much power the low, ultra low voltage current cables bleed off. So I want to keep a collection of power as close as physically possible to these water mills as possible. So we need a bat box. Which requires three RE batteries, some wood, and a copper cable. Well, we have four RE batteries left over. We definitely have the copper cable. We definitely have the wood. And we got another achievement. Awesome! We are just racking up the achievements today. Sweet. All right. So, let's see. Hi, guys. Alrighty, well, I'm definitely going to start here. Ten? Ten by ten? Sound good to you guys? That would mean the eight would be... Or the inside would be eight by eight. Oh yeah, that'd be plenty of space, because that means I'd have seven by seven to work with because the corners would be taken up by things like the transformers and the batteries. Yes, I have most of this plan most of the actual shop planned out of my head. I'm kinda improvising the power consumption. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's gonna be this big. I'm gonna have to dig into the hill a little bit, which is okay. Right here. So let's think. We want to put as much water around these mills as physically possible. So we're going to need to be at least three deep. And I broke my shovel, so... I've got to go make a new one. Oh, and I just used all my iron to make a bunch of iron furnaces for absolutely no reason. Well, luckily, making an iron or using an iron fur you can use an iron furnace in a generator, which I guess I probably should have done. Eh, twenty twenty hindsight. What was I doing? Oh yeah, shovel. Did y'all just see something move across the sheep pens really fast? And I broke my shovel once again and I'm stuck in a hole in the ground. Time to improvise. that enough? No, I don't think it is. Because we want the bottom layer to be cobblestone, like the whole way across. Second layer will be just pure water. Then the actual uh, water mills, plus water all around those. And then on top of those will be the ultra low voltage current and then on top of that will be a, another floor with a bat box in it where all the ultra low current goes into alrighty then I have to go one deeper we have to go deeper <laughs> now I'm stuck in a hole of ground 
Alrighty, uh, this should be pretty good. I mean, it's relatively better because we'll be building on top of solid stone instead of just plain old dirt. Now, this is a 10 by 10 square, so covering the bottom is going to require, because of these, just under 100. So I'm probably going to run out of cobblestone before this gets finished. Good, it's raining. Maybe that'll help fill the area. Yep, I'm completely out of cobblestone. Uh, I also don't think I have it all, any of it in storage. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have thrown all that away. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't help. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna go mining for cobblestone, and I shall be right back. Alrighty, so I went mining, and I got a little cobblestone. Should be enough to finish what I'm doing. Okay, so from here, we need our water buckets, because we need to fill this entire bottom with water. And if I am smart... Should be able to do this fairly quickly. So, we have eight water mills, mills to play with. And I want the power sticking up right there in the corner. Because that's where all my power is going to come in. I'm going to set a geothermal generator up there. Uh, just a regular generator. If I ever manage to make them, solar panels will be over there. So... I want to center everything here. So basically, the first water mill will sit right here, and then a cable will go above it and across into the bat box that'll sit right there. I wonder if that'll work. I guess I'll find out. That gives me four, five. Six, seven, eight. Then we need some cabling. And we should just need to connect everything. And in theory, that should be it. Plunk that down there. Put the bat box there. Take that back out. Cable there. Cable there. And somehow we're already drawing power. How does that work? There's no water around these things. Because I still have to do this. go faster? Actually, that does look like it makes him go faster. And while that's not a hell of a lot of power, that's kind of impressive, actually. Alrighty, so we need our buckets again. Because I want to put the water 
everywhere. As many places as possible. I guess I probably should have done this before. Again, wasn't thinking. 2020 hindsight, that kind of thing. I don't know if these have to be surrounded by source blocks or if they can just be surrounded by flowing water. I hear different things. Sometimes I hear it has to be source block, sometimes I hear it has to be flowing. Honestly, I don't know. Okay. So that covers all of them. Let's see how much power we're pulling now. Even more! That's going pretty quick. I need to make an EU reader, see how much power we're actually pulling. Need an electric circuit, a bunch of copper wire, and glowstone. And I don't have any glowstone. Hmm. I need to go to the nether. But that will be a project for another day. Oh, I can't get out. Okay, so now we have infinite power. Just need to cover it up. But yeah, we got power. That is going pretty surprisingly quick. I'm kind of impressed. What was that noise? Anyways, Let's see what's the next step. Well, we have the basics of power. So I would guess the next step would be walls. Seems logical to me. Now, I always build the corners out of cobble. Ow. I don't know why. Probably because it's something like that. Yeah, I want this to be four tall, and then above that, the ceiling. means I'm going to need a lot of wood. Because I don't want to make it all cobble like the church. I want to make it mostly out of wood. Hmm. Should I use the dark planks or the oak planks? The spruce wood's easier to find. But the oak wood actually looks like the rest of the village. I can always plant more oak trees. That's not that hard. All right, I may have to do something about that sound. Alrighty, let's see. These two are center. And I'm out of wood. So now I have to wait till sun up and go wood hunt. I can't believe how fast that's charging. Okay, water mills seem to be kind of useful. love to get myself an EU reader and actually measure that. See how much power that's outputting. I might have to do that in a creative world. Come back in another video with uh, 
a new creative world because our other creative world is now gone. Because it was of the mod pack that shall not be named. Hey, check it. Gold armor skeleton. With an enchanted bow at that. Ooh. And enchanted pants. He has enchanted pants. Go after them, but my sword is awfully low, and so is my armor. Oh, but his friend went away now. And I do have a bow for myself. Ah, sheep. The skelly didn't drop anything. Ow. Crap. So, I lost all those errors for nothing. I was hoping it dropped something like an enchanted bow. But no. Alrighty, well, we have the general start of the workshop. It's starting to come together. We have a general outline shape. I'm probably going to go underneath this and fix that water so it doesn't make noise. It's just still water. I don't know if that will make anything sl slower or faster or what. Because one would think flowing water would work better around a water mill because that's half the point. But it is Minecraft and making sense doesn't really fit. I don't know, but that sounds like I've got a new tutorial video coming out. Uh, probably tomorrow. So, till then, I'd say keep playing the game and have fun.